So I'm going to show you what the everything offer looks like, at least a part of it anyway. Okay, so the everything offer, the baby of it is what I call my Power PDF. So my Power PDF, um, it started off as like a Google Doc, and I would put links to the different things that someone purchased, right? So if you purchased, like, let's say, for example, a webinar, and then you got to watch two, two videos, and then you got to download a PDF guide, everything would be in that simple PDF document. Then I made the Power PDF, which was um, a prettier version of that. This, to me, by far, is the prettiest of them all. <laughs> so this is one version of the Everything Offer. Um, it starts off as a document where you can basically decide how many offers you're going to include and then how much extra stuff you want to add into your deliverable. So this document is what you would use to deliver your content, okay? So um, first let me show you, before I go into this one in more detail, let me show you a simple one. So drive, content, creation, kit. Okay. So here is my 2020 content creation kit. This is an everything offer, and this is I designed this in Google Docs, and it's simply a document with two pages full of links, <laughs> okay? So this is where you basically have something in which you can put all your stuff and then deliver it to your audience. So I have things that people can access like templates, audios, videos, things they can download, and then I basically give them the links to everything in this one document, okay? So my everything offer kit basically is a more polished look for that same concept. The first thing that you'll see is that there are seven different cover designs. I've been building documents like this for years, ebooks, workbooks, planners. So I took that as the foundation for the cover designs, number one. And then number two, this is where you say, okay, LaShonda, I only have three things, okay? Then maybe you want a page where you have three boxes, okay? You give them a little bit of an introduction. You change the branding so that you have the color scheme. It looks the way you want. And then you link to your three things. Click here to watch your webinar. Click here to download your ebook. Click here to get your worksheet. Bim, bam, boom. Save, you deliver. Okay? So that's for three. Then there's another page for five items. Then, let's keep scrolling, you have the opportunity to add even more to your documents. So I beef up my documents. I will say, here are some recommended resources. Outside of me selling the main offer, I'm going to sell you other stuff. I'm just going to keep it real. Number one, I'm going to sell you some of my own resources. Number two, I'm going to sell you resources that I recommend. I generate revenue every month through affiliate programs. When people purchase things through, from me through Amazon or when they sign up to Canva or ConvertKit through me, I generate revenue. So if you want to take that document and then add on extra things to it, you can. And this is just a beefier version of the Power PDF that I have been building up up until this point. Um, and so one of the things that I encourage you all to do is, as I like to say, build on what you've already built. These are foundational pieces that I have been putting together for years and every year I just work on making them better. That content cre creation kit you saw was from 2020, right? And this is my everything content creation kit that is this year, right? Um, there is, I love this page. Um, this page is the Stay Connected page where literally you can drag and drop because each of these, you can drag elements in here, brand it, make it your own. 
so they can browse your website, they can browse their store, they can sign up to your newsletter, and you can add your social media links. Now, do you have to add these? Absolutely not. Everything is customizable. You can actually delete any of those icons and then put in, maybe you don't want LinkedIn, maybe you want TikTok, you know, um, put in an icon that best matches what you want at the bottom here to be featured. Or maybe you want like a globe, so you want to um, give them a link to your website, or maybe you want to add a little pin so that you want to give them the Google map to your address. Some of you have brick and mortar locations, right? Um, so what you use these icons for, totally up to you. And of course, having a Meet Me, Meet the Instructor page, instructor page so that you can talk a little bit more about you and what you do. Um, over the years, I've really been intensely thinking about what are the pieces that I can help my, con my clients produce to make their lives easier and help them create things faster. And this piece, I've not done this to this level. Um, the Power PDF, it's great, but it was just this, right? Um, it, it didn't have as many variations. So now you have the opportunity to have three, five, or seven. And honestly, you can have multiple pages. So you can have nine, 14, you can have 10, you can have 30, uh, and really just kind of build it out and make it your own, right? Definitely, absolutely, definitely next level. Uh, and I also wanted to make sure that however you wanted it to look, you had options. So, for example, if you notice, this header at the top, um, there are different sizes. So this one is slightly larger because it's less content. And that's the thing. I want everyone to be able to confidently create something that is pretty and professional without going, I don't have enough stuff to fill this. You ever gotten a template like mine or maybe somebody else's? And you're like, I don't have enough stuff to put in this thing. <laughs> and you start trying to make up some stuff. Like, what could I put in this thing? As long as you can have as little as three pieces, you can put something in here, right? And then the rest of it will be filled out enough so it doesn't feel empty. If you want to add, a resources page, great, but you don't have to. If you want to add a Let's Stay Connected page with your newsletter, your websites, your social media, a bio page, you can, but you don't have to. This really is a build it as you want it to be, okay? You can have as many as seven links on one page, and then also you can change the style of the page. So some versions have this which you notice that the top is smaller, and then it's got this large text section here, and then it has these photos in here as well. Now, mind you, really and truly, it's just those three main offers, but if you wanted to add clickable photos or just put photos in there in general, you could, and it still would feel full, right? Um, and that's what something I was talking to a client last week, and she was like, Lashonda, I was so excited to put this offer together, but then the fire kind of fizzled because I didn't feel like it was beefy enough. I didn't feel like it had enough stuff in it. And I want you to be able to put something together that you feel proud of, right? That it looks the way you want and it includes what you want, right? Um, so that is essentially what this particular content creation kit is, an opportunity for you to create an everything offer for your audience. There are several variations of the header in particular. So if you don't want to use a stock photo and you want to use something a little simpler, there is this set here that has like the laptop. I love these flat lay images with the coffee and the succulent. Um, and then there is another style here with the keyboard and the iPod, um, AirPods, um, just slight variation so that you can really customize it and make it your own. Now, this is just the first of, you remember I showed you the brand kit, right? The brand new kit, how many documents that has. This is the same thing. So this one is just, I don't want us to be on here all night, so I'm not going to go through all of them. But I showed you one with speakers, right? So there's a version of this where you can have 
um, a different set of speakers. And then there's, um, let's scroll through. Let me show you one. There's this version where you can showcase your audio content. So, like, if you have your podcast, whether it's a public podcast or a private one, you can have different photos, you can have your episodes, and then have a page for that. So whether it's different speakers, whether it's you, maybe you have a set of videos and you want them to be able to see like the video, click the video, and it takes them to wherever you have your video, YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, wherever your videos are uploaded online, there are multiple style pages for you to be able to create something quickly with your content, right? So this is the new content creation kit um, to allow you to create the everything offer. There are two levels of it. This level is the simple set. I don't know, it's 47 uh, pages for the, in the simple set. Um, and then from here, you have the full set, and the full set includes all of those media pieces. So being able to have special pages for video versus audio, your stuff versus stuff with speakers, stuff that you want them to download, like workbooks and worksheets and things. There are lots of different special pages. Um, but this is just kind of an example of what you could potentially do. So my goal to you is that whether you use something like the Everything Offer Content Creation Kit or not, you are able to start working on building bundles and collections that can help you increase your profit per sale. I was somebody who was absolutely scared of charging. I'm not ashamed to say it because everybody has to start somewhere, which is why I started with low price point stuff because I didn't think anybody would buy my high ticket stuff. I didn't have anything that was high ticket. And when I wanted to make more money, the first thing I learned how to do was to produce bundles, right? Um, and so, again, independent of that particular content creation kit, um, just using the concept that I shared with you today gives you a foundation that can help support you when it comes to putting 